So this was recorded over at my Twitch, link in the description. And as such, the language is foul and the humor is adult. Viewer discretion is advised. I already did that once today, Dark. Not doing it again. Should have been there. Hakama. Games produced by Yoshi Fumi Hashimoto. Creating system data and successfully is created. Autosave feature. Yeah, I, I know what an autosave is. Oh. Oh god, I love it! Kiss you, I kiss you, and the whole world begins shining anew. I love it! <laughs> I didn't even realize I hadn't seen the intro for the game yet! I haven't seen the intro and that just, it occurred to me the moment it started playing like, oh god, a new one. <laughs> Rune Factory 4 special save data found. Doug and Margaret will visit your town as you progress through the game. Women edition special outfits now available. Vishnu's outfit, Korika's outfit, Arthur's outfit, Forte's outfit. Kiel's outfit, Margaret's outfit, Doug's outfit, and Xiao Pai's outfit. Dylas's outfit, Amber's outfit, Leon's outfit, Dolce, Dolce's outfit, and Pico's outfit. Rune Factor Tides of Destiny outfits for Aiden and Sonia. Special outfits added to the wardrobe of your house. Uh, let's check out language settings. So, they're both set to English currently. I could set them to Japanese, but I do not speak Japanese, and I do want to experience the English. What is this? Rune Factory 5 will play it for you. Okay, that's... That's cool. Cleaning up a field. Before you can start farming, you'll need to clean up the field first. Start clearing away stones and branches and cutting them with a sickle. Next, chop up stumps and break boulders. And then you can till it, of course. King of Norad, huh? So we are in Norad. Huh. A scream? I guess, I don't know. It's a girl. I have to help her. Now's my chance to be a hero. It's time to become a heroine. Um. First playthrough, I want to be a hero. 
You're just the right man in the wrong place. Continue as a male character? Yeah, sure. Must have blacked out. What happened? I can't remember anything. Wooly! It's cute. A monster? Wait right there, I'll protect you. First, need to equip a weapon. A L pocket with the L button. Then I can select my broadsword and place the Y button to equip it. Press, whatever. Attack plus five, dizzy plus six, the light easy to use sword, recommend for beginners, some even use it for cooking. Oh. Is that a reference to Forte? Okay, B button to attack. Even if I lose sight of them, I can always use the right stick to look around and figure out where they went. Run away! <laughs> Surprise attack! All right, let's do this. Okay. You all right? Uh, oh, hornets. Those are a bit much for level one. Two of them, I wonder which one I should focus on first. Press the right stick to walk onto an enemy. Then I can move the right stick to choose between the different targets. Press the R button and dash out of the way of enemy attacks. Sure enough, it's a hornet. Luckily, they're not aggro right now. Kill, kill, kill. This is nothing. Either way, we need to get out of here. Come on. They hit me during the one cutscene, remember? And it deals poison damage, remember? I probably got poison in that one hit. Come on, you know that hornets can poison. Really am. It is very cute. You can do it, Priscilla. Okay, so Priscilla. Got it. Huh? She's so short. Yay. Yay. A town. Thank goodness. Almost there. And the poison got me. Game over. I wasn't in town yet, so. Now I wake up at the inn with half my money missing. Did I have that hat before? He's I'll go get my mom. Yeah, okay. I'm glad we're in agreement, Em. 
I feel like semi changed me in my sleep. <laughs> okay. Oh, woo! <laughs> Come on. Nora Como, you scared Hina and you scared Hina and Priscilla half to death. I'm sorry. Who? Sorry, Lucy. Heard my niece was carried in here. I am now, thanks to my hero. You. How can I? Huh? Hey now, what are you doing to my patient? Indecent. Hey. Mom, I was just coming to get you. Well, I'm here now. I'm this town's doctor, and also its mayor. Call me Simone. You're the doctor and the mayor? I... You know... After playing Rune Factor 2 for as long as I have, I, I feel like a combination of Natalie and Byron is a weird thing to get Simone from. So how are you feeling? Experiencing any pain? Not really. Actually, I feel fine. First off, what is your name and birthday? Um. Hermes! <laughs> Sorry if I peeked. <laughs> I'm apparently Ares, guys. I didn't know that was the name. Does Ares sound good? Yes, it does. And. Yeah, it's 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 the first day of summer. Pretty sure my name's Ares. My birthday is the first of summer, I think. And your hometown? Where are you from? Well, I uh can't remember. You appear to be suffering from memory loss. This is madness. I'm afraid the symptoms point to a case of amnesia. Uh, yes. That doesn't sound good. Welcome to the Rune Factory main character gang. Except for oceans. <laughs> Do I still sound good from down here, guys? I'm just gonna lay back, but I want to be sure I don't, you know, sound too quiet or far away. Afraid not. Amnesia's no joke. I've never met anyone with amnesia before. What should I do? Isn't there anything we can do? Okay, thanks, Em. What to do? Everyone's getting worked up over me. What to do? I should leave before I cause any more trouble. Mood, kiddo. Mood. I'm an inconvenience. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Thanks for the concern, but I'm okay, really. I'd better be on my way now. Don't be silly. Why not stay at my family's place? Oh, so Priscilla's the one who gives us the farm in this game. Hey, now, what are you saying? Hina's hero is crashing with me. Or maybe not. Stop this nonsense. He's my patient, he'll be staying under my care. Everyone wants us. <laughs> I want a new child. You're perfect, Ares. You just want a chance to study Amnesiac. 
For safety, of course, and for science. Um, I'm not following, like, any of this. Uh, Don't be dense. Isn't it obvious? They're arguing who's going to take you in. Honestly. Could you people be any more gullible? You're inviting a total stranger into your homes. Oh, you know, he's a wolf in wooly's clothing. Haha! <laughs> but I I feel like you should have specified wool. It's fine. No way. Ares is a good person. As much as I'm inclined to agree with Hina, my daughter does raise a valid concern. Oh, I know, Lucy. Be a dear and take Ares to the field captain's office. The Soul Sphere doesn't lie. Once again, will tell us what kind of person he is. Huh? Why me? I'm the one who raised the red flag. Uh, uh I wouldn't mind taking you. Really? Yeah. Sure, the field captain's office is on the first floor. Thanks. Thank you. Yep, I'm coming too. Camera controls. I like that. Minimap shows the destination of the next story event. Okay. Damn, not here. The only festival during spring is the Harvest Festival? Uh... Ah. There's not a huge amount of festivals. Ooh, a wardrobe. It's my wardrobe. <laughs> I don't... I feel like it is your wardrobe. <laughs> you walked up and... Okay. Um... Okay. So now I'm back in my casual wear. Um, sure, I haven't seen Aiden's outfit in a while. Oh my god, I'm an early Tales RPG for tag. That thing. Let's just go for our normal outfit for now. Y yeah, I got that. I wasn't trying to go anywhere. I'm a buff boy! <laughs> uh, this is funny. I'm bonking her on the head. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> okay, um... I apparently cannot pocket it like I was trying to.
I don't feel like I should know who Priscilla, like, which desk she sits at. A box? How? Oh, hey, it's Eliza! Oh, did this box just talk? I told you already I'm not a box. Despite my appearance, I do in fact have a name. Saint Eliza, call me Eliza for short. Eliza? That's me, pleased to make your acquaintance. Now that I think about it, you can actually hear me. At first glance, you don't look too dependable, but I can see that you have potential. I do? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just talking to myself. You could change the game's difficulty level here. You have three options, easy, normal, or penis. <laughs> You're currently playing on normal. Let me know if you want to change it. You can also ac access the directive system here. If you'd like to give it a whirl, then look at the first directive request on the task board. Can I escape? Nope. Can I escape? Dang it. They're short. Excuse me. Captain Livia? Yeah. No, oh, if it isn't Priscilla, something the matter. You've come to register Ares of the Soul Sphere. Ares? Huh. So he's finally awake. Um This child here is the field captain? Yes. She runs the silo seeds. Rig Barth Outpost. Who's Rig Barth? What's a seed? Honestly. Can you at least try to keep up? This town is called Rig Barth. It's kept safe from monsters by seed, an organization dedicated to protecting people. And the building you're standing in is Rig Barth Outpost, which is also known as the Silo. The clothes you were wearing were all torn up, so we took the liberty of lending you a seed uniform. That explains it. It doesn't explain the hat? Like, why you put a hat on me while I was still asleep? Got it. Honestly, I can't remember. And that means what, exactly? He supposedly has amnesia. That's why we'd like you to roll a soul sphere check. Oh. In that case, hold out your hand toward the crystal. Huge crystal is the soul sphere. Doesn't look, so, doesn't shine so beautifully. Got my eye on you. Better not to try any funny business. Got it. Her soul sphere is more valuable than you could possibly imagine. Break it, and you'll be fined in oblivion. I kid, I kid. You can relax. You wouldn't live to see the point of being fined. This thing. happening. These runes are nearly out of control. That can only mean one thing. Now get away! They're right. That was a surprise. Who or what are you? That's what I'd like to know. 
What gives, Field Captain? That was not a normal reading. Normally the Soul Sphere only gives off a faint glow, right? Man? Huh? Yes, right. In fact, no, never mind. the important thing is n that nothing suspicious came up from the Soul Sphere. Ares is squeaky clean, as if he has no past. Goodness. Yep, I feel... relieved? Not gonna lie, I'm way out of my depth here. Starters, what's a Soul Sphere? The Soul Sphere is a... Uh... You know... Um, what is it? Uh, My mom told me it quantifies the inner light of a living spirit. Whatever that means. Offer your hand and it will reveal a lot about who you are. Right, Captain Livia? Yeah, that about sums it up. More importantly, Ares. That's putting it lightly. They're so short-handed, we've had to work overtime, and we're just volunteers. Well? Interested? The job comes with free room and board. Oh, I don't know. Defending off a monster or two is one thing, but protecting a whole town? That's... a lot. Field Captain! This child. This child right here. I want to protect him. I want to hug him and tell him it's going to be okay. What is this, Cecil? There's a mystery afoot, Captain Livia. Queen Yuki's spectacles have been spirited away. Yeah. She's lost her glasses again. It's not that. Oh, ma'am. They vanished in thin air. It's a serious instant. Jeez. Okay, okay. This one's all yours, Lucy. Again? Come on, Lucy, hurry! We need to investigate the scene before it's compromised. <sighs> All the lousy. That sounded serious. Strange things always happen when Cecil Boy Detective is around. That's what quantify qualifies for a mystery out in the sticks. We're just a sleepy hamlet where nothing happens. Give it a year. I'm sure that, you know, the world will almost end. As soon as your memory returns, you can pack up and go. But for now, we need all the help we can get. I mean, alright. Yes. You put it that way, sign me up. Ah. Excellent. Welcome to the team. Now then, let's put you to work. Priscilla, take our new recruit out back for some field training. With this shotgun. <laughs> huh? By field, do you mean agriculture or seed is a self sufficient organization? You'll just start in the field. After that, the only thing limiting what you can do is my imagination. That's so. <laughs> okay then. Well, shall we? So it wasn't Priscilla technically who gave us the field. Who is the captain? This is the field. I'm gonna explain how farming works now, okay? Uh, yes, please. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know what I was gonna do if you didn't want to listen. She's really going out of her way to help me. I guess I can't put things in my pocket yet.
Also, this field is not that bad a condition compared to most starts. Can you pick up more than one at a time? Yeah, it would appear so. I don't like how it bends my camera randomly. Like, I guess it's, you know, to be able to see the field better or whatever, but I, I'd like it, you know, to be consistent. See if I can raise my sword skill by hitting things. Every morning at 8, estimated earnings are 175G. This actually seems worth carrying with me. I'm sure I would have leveled up my sword skill by now, right? Can you raise your uh, throwing skill, though? Kind of like this. Yo, yeet! <laughs> Alright, how about next? Alright, you did a great job. By the way, if you hold down the A button, you'll only pick up items of the same type. Oh, and if you walk onto the shipping bin and you're holding something, then you can throw stuff in there. Yeah, I know that. Moving on, please take this. Cheap ho. You a cheap ho ho. You a cheap ho.
So if there's multiple in a row, it'll keep moving on to the next one. That one's just blocking those four. Okay. Alright. So that's everything gold tilled. Turn up seeds. Just be sure there's nowhere else to do anything. Nah, no, it's gonna pull me back. That's why. Not be. More turnip seeds? Well, that's a lot. Are you sure you can have these? Please, I insist. Think of it as a thank you present for cleaning up the field. I'm looking forward to seeing what you grow here. <laughs> Try to live up to your expectations. I think you'll do just fine, Ares. Not many people can do all the work as easily as you did, especially not on their first try. There's a good reason why Captain Livia made you a ranger. Just like one of those, um, what were they called? Earth maids? You know, Ares, maybe it's not farming you're good at. I get the feeling you're the kind of person who'd make the whole world a green, vibrant place. Oh, come on. Now you're exaggerating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but wouldn't it be nice if that were true? When I was little, I read stories about Earth maids who rode dragons through the skies. They would tend the earth and bring it to life, filling the world with runes. I always love reading about them. Um, runes? Oh, I'm sorry. Runes are, um, they're sort of like your stamina, or maybe your life force? Basically, if you work yourself too hard and use up all your runes, you'll collapse from exhaustion, so be careful, okay? Ugh. The field captain said he can use this room. So it's yours now, Ares. 
Uh, wait, isn't this the silo? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. But the second forum has always been empty, and Captain Olivia said the rangers should live here. She did? Well, at least safety won't be a problem. Right? Captain Olivia lives just downstairs, after all. Also, people come by the silo all the time. If you ever need help, I'm sure someone will be happy to lend you a hand. <laughs> Shouldn't it be the other way around? Don't worry about it. Everyone around here is always eager to help each other out. Then maybe I'll ask for a favor or two. Go for it. That being said, right now, your room is only a bed, a calendar, and a projector. And that wardrobe. The, the wardrobe. The wardrobe. You can use the calendar to check the date and see whether a festival or anything is coming up soon. The projector lets you view any cutscenes you've seen, whatever that means. Last up is your bed. After you go to sleep, you'll wake up at 6 a.m. the next day with your HP and RP restored. If you don't sleep enough, you've become fatigued and you'll also look more okay to catch a cold. So make sure you get a good night's sleep. In short, if you feel tired, go to bed. That about does it. Great work today. Rest up. Uh, but what if I don't want to? Take it easy and rest I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you do so much work. Um, why don't you rest a while in that bed? <sighs> oh man, I'm ready to call it a day. But conversely, no. Uh, why are there barrels? Barrel! Let me free! Let me free! I jump. Watering time. Okay. Um. So I don't have any skills yet. To wherever you please, huh? Give me skills! Let me use my infinite time, please! Let me abuse systems! Also, I do kind of like the arc of that. Looks kind of pretty. Nope. Can't learn skills yet. Well, unfortunate. Oh, you can just open up your thing. Why can't I sleep in this bed? What if what if I prefer red? The fact that I'm not allowed to abuse these systems is mean. Also, I'm wearing red to sleep. Good morning. 
Wake up, Aries. It's already morning. As you sleep on the covers. <laughs> oh, you're awake. Morning. Good morning. You too, Lucy. Yeah, did you solve the case of the missing glasses? Yeah. Naturally. Wow. Glad to hear it. See, soul must sure must feel relieved. Relieved? I didn't chew him out for wasting my time. Yuki's glasses were sitting right on her head. They say it's always in the last place you look. Mm -hmm. Priscilla? Hi. Just trying to hold back a yawn. Hope she's getting enough sleep. Hmm. I fight it. If you gotta yawn, just yawn. Turn the inside of my mouth to the whole world is just too embarrassing. Okay, whatever you say. Let's just pass along our message already. Then maybe you should go back to bed. You have a message for me? Sure. The field captain's order. She wants you to introduce yourself to everyone in town. Oh wow, your first official seed mission. Good luck and break a leg, but also don't. Am I missing a clock somewhere? <laughs> How's the field work going? Uh, going great, no problems. <laughs> You're more enthusiastic about this than I expected. By the way, do you know anything about harvest reports? Can't say I do. Ah, uh, then let me fill you in. Weather and other conditions will determine your harvest is bountiful or poor. You can predict local conditions for up to a week at a time. <sighs> so you should pay attention to them when you're about to harvest something. I can give you an even more detailed explanation if you'd like. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Listen closely. Like I said, harvest reports will tell you your harvest for a particular crop. During this week or the next, be bountiful or poor. For example, if you harvest turnips during a bountiful week, they will end up with more than you usually would. If you harvest them during a poor one, then I'll end up with fewer than usual. Exactly, hence why you always need to take the time, the timing of your harvest into account. Watering your crops to prevent them from drying out is one way to ensure a good harvest. And you can speed up the growth process if you think outside the box, such as by using fertilizer. And if you don't have to go that far, if you don't feel like it, it's all up to you. If you ever want to check the harvest report, just ask me about it. I will. Thank you so much. Let's touch it. I'm really tempted to touch it, but I shouldn't. Dang. But I want to explode. Time to tackle another day. So there's actually no clock in this game? Oh, Ares. <sighs> Didn't get enough sleep again? Nope. So many people have asked to help out with so many things. Now that sounds rough. Not that you look too upset about it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm giving your neighbors a helping hand. Fun and makes me feel warm inside. If you ever need help with anything, just let me know, okay? I'll be more than happy to... <sighs> oh. Oh. Sounds like more like I should be helping you. How about you just get some more sleep? Oh, off to work. Have fun. Huh. 
Aries. Hey. Have you seen Julian around? The little scamps wandered off somewhere again. Honestly. Where do you get off to this time? Take my eyes on for eyes off him for two seconds and poof, he's nowhere to be seen. Yikes, sounds like you're having a tough day, Lucy. Eh, I'm used to it. Though Julian's not the only one I worry about. Now I gotta keep an eye on you. Huh? huh? What do you mean? Well, you've lost your memories, right? I know you're not a weirdo or anything, but a girl's gotta wonder. Can you really make a life for yourself in rig bars? Like, at all? Are you gonna remember to eat your vegetables and get enough sleep? Will you get along with your neighbors? Say hi to them and spend send the right greeting cards at the right times. And most important of all, of all, will you be nice to Priscilla? Will she want to be friends with you? I'm serious. When someone's a buy one get seven free special on the worry aisle, how am I supposed to turn my back on them? Um, I'm standing right here, you know. Oh right, I was in the middle of something. I gotta find Julian. Better run. See you, Aries. If you need anything, just let me know. Thanks. I guess that means she's concerned about me, at least. Um... There. What would you like to do today? Nothing. It's weird. I, I don't feel like it should be targeting things behind me. So is time passing or not? That's all I can do over here for now. So, my current mission is to meet everyone. So, let's do that. Will people show up on my mini-map? There's no one in here, and there's no one on the mini-map, so maybe. A FRIEND! Strange Clarissa. I tried talking to Fuka, but I can't understand a word she says. What should I do to make sure we get through to each other? But yeah, they are on any map. An adventure is a series of happy discoveries. Today, my happy discovery is you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello, skillful Leroy. Okay. How about people who aren't just like a descriptor. Can you not jump? 
worldly Donna. Holmo is a very unique person, isn't he? I had the honor of meeting him for the first time just earlier. There are a lot of De Senko Kios around the world, right? Oh! At least that's what I've heard. Who knows what sort of people were out there. I'm making assumptions here, but like... Yeah, those aren't people. An adventure's... oh. Child. You little... Ah, so now we understand what's going on. Wait. Chasing after my brother. Okay. No worries, are you okay, Lucy? I'm fine, thanks. Maybe. Something the matter? It's nothing. I was wrong to be suspicious of you. I don't have time for this. I've got to hunt down Julian. King Julian! I take my eyes off that kid for one second, he runs off to who knows where. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like a real handful. More like two. You're in training, right? Give me a hand. First one to catch him wins. Who, huh? Julian? This is now a seed mission. Three, two, one, go! Do, 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 do. Off she goes. King Julian! Saint de Coquille, huh? Oh. It smells like freshly baked bread. Welcome. Bearded Grandpa, my favorite character. Sorry about that. Excuse me, I'm not here to buy anything. As a matter of fact, uh... Right, the woman with the, from the glasses instant. She had more than a few kind words to say about Seed's latest hire. Oh, my name's Ares, and yeah, that's me. I look forward to getting to know you. Randolph. My wife Yuki and I run this little bakery. Feel free to drop in and chat anytime, <laughs> even if you aren't looking to buy. Huh? I wouldn't want to impose. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Old timers like us love nothing more than to chew the fat. Well, I just want to catch up on Frank's gossip, but my husband here lives for tales of adventure. Whatever you happen to hear through the grapevine. We'll be happy to lend an ear. Yeah. Got it. I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet. Hello, Randolph. Why, hello there. It's good to see you. Do you come visit me and Yuki again sometime soon? We'll always be happy to hear about your day. Oh. Ah, uh, hello, dear. How nice it is to see you again. 
Randolph, I would love to have another chat with you, so don't be a stranger. You're always welcome at our little bakery. Thanks, I'll definitely be take you up on your offer. Lots of nice fresh bread for sale. I wonder if Olivia eats, is eating properly. I always worry about her. I can assure you that she's eating enough. Well, that's good to hear. Still, perhaps I should bring her a freshly baked, uh, baked loaf or two. Good morning! Our days like this lovely, nice weather makes makes me want to enjoy some fresh bread outside. Seems like I'm due for a picnic. Okay. Chatterboxes, the both of you. Aha, I've broken into your room. Now I'm gonna steal your stuff. You. Then I'll get something in there smells delicious. I wonder just how many loaves they've baked in the seven. So I guess time doesn't pass this day. That way you can meet everyone. Big and strong, okay? See, I also don't use up RP. Oh, doesn't look like it's open. Simone. Are you feeling? Great. Thank you for your help earlier. Nothing's necessary. As a doctor, it's my responsibility to- <coughs> You okay? That sounds pretty bad. For all my years of medical training, I'm not very good at taking care of myself. <coughs> at least I get to try the experimental treatments. <laughs> You're taking a test of medications? Of course. I can't very well use my patients as test subjects. Unless you'd like to donate your body to science. Are you science? Well, uh, as long as it won't hurt. <laughs> Only a joke. <coughs> this is no laughing matter, Simone. Simone. I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet. Where's King Julian? How do you... I don't trust this doctor. I'm running around at the speed of sound. Got no place to go, got to follow my rainbow. So... Crystal Opera, huh?
What? Oh, that is bad luck. Yes, it sure is. So very unfortunate. How about this? Why don't you step out of the shop for a moment, then come back in? <sighs> sure. This? No, no, my dear. You should have asked me to step outside with you. Uh, uh. It's odd. Mr. Ketchup himself. Looks more like a mustard, though. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You just got pranked. Not sure how to feel about mustard. The blue moon. What is this place? The bathhouse! With our boy, Mr. Purple Hair! Uncle What's-His-Face. Murakumo. It's the boy. Murakumo. The one and only. Given my offer, any thought? There's plenty of room for you to stay at my place. Perks of being the innkeeper. Actually, I'm staying at the silo. I'm glad that everything worked out. Hang in there. Need a break? Come take a dip in our spa. Yes. Murkham was just so friendly. Wait. My boy, <laughs> you're here. <laughs> Doug, 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 Doug! You have a ponytail and everything! You've grown up! Hey there, you got a second? Uh, sure, can I help you? Sorry to bug you at the blue, let me introduce myself. I'm Doug, a traveler. And you? I'm Ares. Ares, eh? I drop by this town every once in a while, you see, and I hadn't seen you around before. I got a little curious, so I thought I'd say hi. We'll probably run to each other again in the future, so give me a holler if you've seen me around. Oh, too. It's nice to meet you, Doug. Yo, nice day, huh? Weather would be... would put anybody in a good mood, don't you think? So I heard that you lost your memories. Yeah, first thing I remember is waking up in the forest. Huh, really? 
forest, huh? Maybe you need to just fall out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What in the world made you think I fell from the sky? Oh, uh, never mind that. Just talking to myself. And even if I did fall from the sky, that kind that'd be kind of lethal, don't you think? Yeah, you'd think that. Anyway, forget I say th anything, okay? <laughs> I feel bad for anyone who, like, watches the stream or just watches, like, the VOD from it or whatever and has no idea about Rune Factory 4. Like, <laughs> you must think this is a bit odd. Margaret! My girl! La la la. Um, excuse me. La la la, la di la di la. Um, I hate to interrupt you, but... Oh, are you talking to me? That I am. I want to introduce myself. I'm Ares. Well, aren't you polite? Nice to meet you. I'm Margaret. I'm traveling the world, composing new songs as I go. All the new scenery, new places, and new people I encountered make su for such wonderful inspiration. I can imagine what a fascinating life you must lead. Mm -hmm. I drop by this town every once in a while, so if you see me, feel free to say hi. So I guess he's in here? The men's bath? Oh, he's in the men's bath. Yeah. With his pants on. <laughs> hey there, Ares. How have things been going for you? I'm getting by. Everyone's been helping me out a lot. Right on. Folks around Rig Barth are pretty swell, that's for sure. But seriously, if you're running kind of problem, give me a holler. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got it. <laughs> oh, you for saving heat now and all. So if you ever need a hand, I'll drop whatever I'm doing and come running. Thank you very much. Okay. What a weird mirror. Blacksmith time. Here's the smith that never fails to make my weapon zoom more powerful. Oh! Joy joy. Eureka! What the? This is escalating quickly. Welcome to the entire Deso Koku family. Um, <laughs> Sub blueprint? I am overcome by a weave of pure emotion. Behold a work of art that is also a toilet. It looks pretty sturdy. An eye for detail, totally, totally random stranger. This porcelain throne could bear a dragon's girth. Take a seat for the masses. Wow, I didn't know what to say. Joyous joy. Your look of bewilderment says it all. I am getting. I'm the new seed trainee, Ares. I'm gonna be living in Rigbar, so I'm making the rounds to introduce myself to everyone. Sweet serendipity! A new acquaintance! I feel the electric tingle of future inspiration! Oh, 
keep it down. I'm trying to sleep. He looks cool! I want to be his friend. He might hate me though, I'm not sure. Your laziness is also inspiring, young Riker. How magnificently your work has piled up. Hmm. My bad. I'll get straight to it. Tomorrow. Today, I rest. Yo, mood. That's not a love interest, though. Who's that? That is Riker, the apprentice carpenter under my tutelage. If I let him oversleep, he becomes completely useless. Oh, I see. He seems oddly happy about that. that... I must begin constructing my masterpiece. When it is finished, I do hope that we may share the spark of creativity again. I love his hair. I'm making an assumption saying his, but I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet. He's there. Hey there, Riker. Hey. Uh, who are you again? I'm Ares. I joined Seed just recently. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mm. Seed's new as flunky, eh? Can't say it's a pleasure for me. Sorry, I'm just none too fond of him. But... I guess you don't seem too bad. Work stuff aside, it's good to meet you. Uh, thanks? Oh, 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 we meet again! So we do. It's nice to see you, Balmo. I show if you remembered my name. I'm so flattered. Congratulations! All of our newly acquired customers receive a free cooking table! You'll find your lovely gift waiting for you by the entrance to st Studio Palmo, so don't forget to bring it home. Oh. Wild. Today's the kind of day where the sun rays are kind of scorch me all morning. Whatever you do, just don't get in the way of my job. Got it? Which job do you mean? What do you mean, which job? Why would I have more than one? I'm really not trying to interact with him. I, the table? The, the, t the table. I give up. <laughs> I'll check that out another time. Didn't Palmo say something about a free cooking? Oh. It's inside. It's mine! I'm running around with my cooking table in my hands. I'm buff as crap and I don't give a crap. I'm gonna cook, I'm going to cook. I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna cook. Reminder, uh... I live right across the river, of course. How do I clear this? I want the space. Inventory be mine. Uh, 
Um, guess I just head north. So if I hold down the right bumper, I actually walk. Oh, this is the smithy. Got it. Making weapons! So I wonder if this is where I can get my hammer. Oh, they're so focused. Excuse me. Oh. Mary's, the new sea trainee. I'll be staying in Brigbarth for a while, so I wanted to introduce myself. Uh huh. Sir, Master Derek, a new sea trainee's here. Uh, what's that, Bart? A new sea trainee is here. A blue sea train's near where? Please stay your hand for a moment, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Why don't you tell me we got a customer? Not a customer. Seed's latest recruit. My name's Ares. Hey, that's it. Martin, show him the forge. Ever t away on the anvil might knock something loose. Understood. I'll keep it short. Yes. Okay. Looks like you're ready. Then let's get started. Smithing allows you to make weapons and farm tools. Of course, you can't make much of anything without metal or any other materials. Normally, you'd get ore from dungeons with a hammer, but since you probably don't have any right now, you can use this. Some steel. Thank you. No need to thank me. Moving on. Why don't you start by making a longsword? Choose the make weapon option, then the longsword. What should I make? Farm tool? Hey, are you actually listening to me? Fine. Okay. So it doesn't have to be iron. It could be any mineral. Ah, interesting. Very interesting. Alright, that should do it. Received a claymore. Let me see that. Huh. Color me surprised. You did well for your first try. You may have a talent for this after all. Well, I did have a good teacher. My thing is such an amazing art. I can I can hardly believe that I turned a lump of metal into something like this. Almost like magic. You really think so? Anyway. Did you remember anything? Nope, nothing at all. See, well, if it were that easy, I doubt you'd have so much 
you'd have to try so hard in the first place. If you need a flash of inspiration, you could try eating some bread. What? Bread? Really? Did I stutter? Oh, right, you lost your memories. You learn new recipes by eating recipe bread. Okay, that's news to me. Depending on what you want to make, you can eat a weapon bread or a farming bread. Although sometimes you won't learn anything at all from eating them. That happens when your forging level or tool related skill level is too low. In other words, it means you aren't ready to handle something like that yet. Still in training myself, so unfortunately there's not much else I can teach you. Sorry about that. No, don't worry. I learned a lot. Thanks so much. If you ever want to get serious about forging, then you should try getting a forging license in your own forge. Use a directive to take the test for a forging license at Rig Bar Outpost. As for a forge, you can get and buy one at Studio Palmo. That's about it. If you don't have any other business here, please leave us to our work. We've wasted enough of our master's fine time already. Thank you very much. Sure thing, thank you. Thank you, Derek. Derek, Martin, I'm, I'm slowly learning them all, right? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Where am I going next? I'll head south. Oh. We hold down a... You just start picking up everything of that kind. Can I actually work on directives and things during this time, or is that all later? It's something about a board. I don't see anything like that in here. Eliza, yeah. Let me guess, just difficulty? I have no idea if this is a good difficulty yet. Let's keep on moving. Hi, it's Hina. Oh, he's Athena. Jeez. Oh, I'm way stronger than you. No. You wish. Sounds like an argument. I'll show you. Okay. Bring it on. Whoa. Oh, no, they're fighting. I better break it up. Lucy just sneaking up. Right Who do you think you are butting in on a fair fight? But they might...
Let's do this. We roll Jenkins. She just wanted to see Julian get his butt kicked. I win. Yay. She's crying? That's why I try to stop them. What an amazing battle. Huh? Yeah, an amazing... Huh? Yo. Hey, Julian! You're right down in the dumps. Was awesome. What is with these two? You gotta like get a lot stronger. She kicked the crap out of you, man. Were you trying to catch him? Something's really off about those two. Well, really that entire family. Cecil. Oh. Oh, it's you again. Huh? He's a love interest, huh? I knew it. Just as I deduced, you must be Ares. Yeah. How do you know my name? Mr. Terry called me in, a stranger without a past appearing out of nowhere. Now that is a real mystery I had to see with my own eyes. Please don't worry about it. Are you Terry? You are correct. Not that it was much of a riddle. I own the general store, but I work with Seed on the side. Here's to the start of a beautiful friendship. Yes! Excuse me? Can I also be your friend? Of yes. Course. More of the merrier, Cecil.
Oh, now he gets a thing. So I guess he is a romance. What could it be? Who's that? Seeing things? So is he some kind of thief or something? 